Hey everyone, welcome back to Figure Fantasy. So we are currently anticipating the arrival of Hatsune Miko. So obviously she is going to be belonging to a brand which is Let's Red. And most of the team compositions for Let's Red is going to be uh, composed of summon components okay so i'm gonna be updating the last uh, video that i had in terms of team comps for summons so i'm just gonna show you guys what i have here okay so for the big three definitely there's going to be an upgrade for the lineup so number one your defender will be megan so megan uh, Hatsune Miko will be your militarist, your range. Then beside uh, Megan will be Suzumi definitely because again, um, we have to have somebody there who will be producing summons so that Hatsune Miko could take advantage of that based on her skills, her ultimate. And Harriet as well at specialist. So the key here in... And the big three will be Aoi, their helper. So Aoi will be in charge of shields, buffs, HP, buffs in attack. And Hatsune Miko will take advantage of that um, in terms of bringing along a lot of summons to the field. So again, this big three lineup is kind of kind of more or less what I'm expecting. If this, this doesn't really help, you may... Uh, swap out Aoi for um, Sakura. So Sakura can be used here, but definitely I'd like to have more firepower. That is why Aoi is here. Okay, for PvP, I think um, summon teams would be now uh, viable, uh, especially with her around, with, with Atsuni Miko around. Because again, um, for Let's Red, if you, you know, if you create a team there isn't much firepower aside from um Zanta Kane and now you have uh, Hatsune Miko so definitely um your PVP will be kind of different in terms of um in terms of the meta in terms of other teams being more viable so for this team so you have Megan again for defender for PVP Suzumi for Vanguard Sakura for helper Harriet for Specialist and Hatsune Miko for Militarist. For this lineup, I did not put Aoi here um, because I wanted to put Sakura in because she does have silence. She does have a little bit of healing. The one thing that I'd like to put here as a sub would be Xantha Kane because this is going to be PvP. So... More or less, she is going to be your super sub. It depends really on what matchups you have. So she will be your sub here, depending on the matchups you have. This team basically can be can be used either in in your five on five PvP or your five times three teams. Sorry, five times three teams in the other PvP. So this could be one of your teams already composing of let's red teams. So just want to give you guys more options in terms of the teams. So if you want to really exploit or take advantage of the arrival of Atsuni Miko, your core would definitely be these three. Atsuni Miko, Suzumi, Harriet. Um, you could put in Minakami, but again, he caps uh, he caps off at 160. So I'd rather you guys focus on these at the moment. And um, these are your core three. And your options or pairings for the last two slots would be this one. So Megan and Zarola definitely um, one of the one of I think the most high DPS teams that, that you're gonna building. So this disregards both um both uh your what they call this your helper um you don't have a helper here so this is purely uh what they call this this is purely firepower going out because zarola is here next option as the last two would be megan and crusos definitely a more defensive lineup so that you could you could hold back the front line and the last one would be megan and zephyr which is 
actually a good compliment. Uh, Zephyr would be a good compliment because she pro she would pro be providing healing and energy as well, so that uh, all three of them could spam their summoning as much as possible with their ultimate. And again, I think these are your options for the incoming Hatsune Miku. At least you guys are prepared already on which lineups are you going to bring and what are the possible components um, I think um, are going to be viable moving forward. So again, um, just want to move on to this other note that I made. So for final battle, definitely um, any one of those teams are viable already, especially with Azazel. Hatsune Miko is going to be good um, for Azazel because the the, the 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 increase in the number of allies in the field makes her skill much better. So definitely, she's going to be violent as Azazel. So other possible solutions uh, would be uh, board game lineups. You could bring those lineups, any of those lineups, to board game nightmare. And definitely, she will, Hatsune Miku will bring Summon Team to a different level and probably um, uh, take uh, Let's Red in the level Tenma. Probably in the level quite a bit lower, a bit, but definitely near the level of Tenma. So, again, Summon Teams are going to be here to stay. Definitely, thank, thanks so much to Hatsune Miku. But again, they are very much a experimental team at this point i hear that they are uh being sought after in other servers but again we still have to try it out in ours so again i think these are your possible lineups given that we have a limited number of figures right now in global um i think this would do as the game um, welcomes new figures in the future i think that summon teams would be, get better and better so again i don't see any you know i don't i don't see any wrong direction where summon teams would go i think most of them are just going up and i think this is a good start with hatsune miko joining us hopefully this friday or within this week so anyway guys um i want your thoughts on these uh in terms of um the lineups that are potential what are your other lineups that you can suggest what other you know combinations that you can suggest aside from these i want to hear from you in the comment section below please do because i also want to be informed as well so these are just my my, my opinions guys so please um more or less um if you have something in mind please do uh say them in the comment section below Anyway, guys, thank you very much for staying this far. So hopefully I was able to prepare you for the incoming Hatsune Miku, hopefully this week. And take care, guys. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.